Hey guys, welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Today's episode, we're going to see if we can, I guess, maybe knock out a couple of missions. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of driving today because I wanted to go up to this area here and check it out and see about the mission to where we can unlock this area. Um, but also, we have uh, another mission that's taken us all the way down here. And what that one is, is the Forgotten Book. And that's where last episode we kind of went over it and you can kind of read the, the message that was in the email right here. And so that's what we're doing. We have to take a, a fishing book back to Grandpa's friend. On another note, I was doing some hunting on off camera to get a little extra money so I can get some upgrades and ended up picking this up the uh i i, I guess it's steer sm12 it's a basically it's a 300 wind mag we picked that up and that's a tier six so this is going to be able to take down i think well oh, excuse me this this is going to be able to take down anything in the game i'm pretty sure anyway bear elk whatever so that's good uh we also picked up a collar for the deer grunts and we start out with just a doe grunt and the more we use it and the we'll actually have to call in doe and you know take them and once we take enough of them after calling them in we'll unlock um i guess in our skills tree it'll start unlocking more and then we'll be able to use the young book and then the trophy book all that so Cool. All right, so we're going to go and hop in the Jeep and head, I guess, yeah, towards the south there and see if we can get this book delivered. Like I said, I was planning on going, going up north up here, but I guess we'll go down there and if we get sidetracked down there, then we'll get sidetracked. <laughs> and we'll worry about the, we'll worry about the other another time. All right, off in our Jeep, and off we go. Okay, finally made it up to the, to the cabin. That was a really long trip. All right. Yeah, see, this is one of those areas that tells you permission to hunt is required. Check that out. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, it it may not look that far. That's a long ways. I think it probably took. I don't know. I guess maybe ten minutes or so to drive all the way up there, nonstop. It's a long trip. Long, long trip. But I found out there's a lot more area that I can hunt. Also, it didn't stop me. A little sign popped up that said I need permission to hunt somewhere around probably in this area right here when I was coming up on the road. So I'm guessing basically all this entire area down here we can hunt without having the, the special permission or whatever. So that's that's pretty awesome. So I have to check that area out also. Anyway, let's get in here and see what's in store for us. a nice little cabin really nice view very cool all right let's see all right place what the book. cozy cottage i can use it while no one is here 
It was always like this in Nespers Valley. Nice. So I guess we have permission to, to use it. So what is this here? Looking for a helping hand. Hey there, would you like to hunt on my lands? I'm sorry you can't reach me now, but I'm traveling constantly trying to spot new bird species. I used to hunt, but it's not the same here in the United States. I am more passionate about bird watching these days. I moved here years ago from Slovakia for the love of my life, Linda. As you know, love can move mountains. But since I've moved here, I long dearly for Slovak mountains and even more for Slovak hunters. There's nothing wrong with the American way of hunting. It feels more modern, but you know, different region, different manners. I used to ask myself, where is the dog buried? I've been trying to educate hunters from this region more about one specific tradition. It's just deeply ingrained in me and may be weird for them. Thank God Linda loves traditions. As we say in Slovak, crow sits with another crow. But you should not put out the fires that don't burn you. My wife says I should not make a donkey out of a mosquito and just let it be, but I can't. I've planted a tree which flew together with me from Slovakia nearby. Can you please break off numerous bald branches? I will explain to you what to do with them afterward. P.S. My wife always tells me that I use too many Slovak expressions which make no sense in English, <laughs> but I don't want to give them up. If you feel too confused, Grab a book of my favorite sayings with explanations. Ludovic Vlokov. That's neat. Alright, so find Ludovic's tree and break off some branches. Simple enough. Let's look at our map and see about where it is. It's not too far. So we'll walk on down there and see if we can find the tree. Enjoy the view along the way really nice okay looks like here's our tree get up there and see what we need to do that's neat A little picnic picnic area break off branches okay well I guess that's all we can do for now. Maybe I'll head back down to the, uh, back to his little cabin and see if we can figure out what else we need to do as far as this mission goes. All right, we made it back to the cabin. Looks like there's maybe a continuation to this mission here. Let's check it out and see. Uh, let's look. Ha! This guy keeps sneaking in when we're leaving leaving notes and then running off again. You have the branches. Good. Now let me explain the tradition I miss the most. It's about honoring the harvested animal. I think it's a clear as I think it's as clear as a slap in the face, but some American hunters look at me as if my tower is haunted. It's called last tribute. It's very important in Slovak hunting culture. After the animal dies, the hunter spends several minutes next to it, reminiscing about the hunt. The tribute is paid in the form of a last bite. It's called hunting branch, or in Slovak, Zalomokov. Or Z Zalomok? Something. You put the game on its right side and put the branch in its mouth. Another branch is put onto the wound of the animal. If the game is male, the branch is pointing with the broken end towards its head, and if the game is female, it's the opposite. There are many more traditions, but I don't want to confuse you. The reason why I'm explaining this to you is because recently I've come across a horrible atrocity. Someone is using illegal trapping methods which terribly hurts animals. Apart from reporting it to local authorities, I've also st started giving them the last tribute. It's the least I can do to honor the fallen animal. Can you please check the area I've marked on the map? Give the animals the last tribute they deserve because I have a bad feeling it's not going to stop. I believe the person who is doing this will get their punishment because the meals of God grind slowly but surely. Ludovic Vlokov. 
That's pretty deep. That is pretty deep. Check the highlighted area on the map. Yeah, that's, uh... That is one thing. Using... Using the traps and stuff to... To catch the animals and not, you know, I guess, I guess you could say humanely putting them out. It's pretty rough. I guess in, as far as trapping goes, I understand there's, there's a necessity in some points like you've got cow or not cow, coyotes and, you know, different types of animals that are a nuisance that there's really, you know, no other way to really get rid of them. And that's where, you know, traps are useful and I think, you know, necessary. But for, you know, trapping other things just to, you know, just to do it, I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's very good. Let's look and see where we need to go. Alright, so we'll run over there. Looks like it's up on top of a hill. Maybe I should walk over this way. Discovery. Kissing rocks. Oh, okay. Um, trying to get around here to where it's telling me to go. It looks like I have to go way down there. Uh, that is sketchy. I don't think I want to try that. I guess I have to go all the way around down. We'll go down this. Yeah, we're going to pretend like that didn't happen. But. Get to take the car this time. Made it down here with no issues whatsoever. None. At all. Just, just perfectly seamless. Let's look here. Oh my.
look at the size of that deer. So that's the kind of stuff right there that would piss you off if you saw that. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't so much be worried about the fox, honestly. It's kind of it kind of sucks, but given the given the area, it's kind of pointless. But I guess if it was somewhere close to your house or something, and it was killing, you know, chickens and whatnot, then I could see a point in the trap. But not out here. Let's pay our respects. Mission completed. Fields of God. So we'll head back up to the cabin. And see what note he's left us. Okay. Here we are back again. Maybe that would be the, the end of our mission. Thank you for giving some last respect to the animals. A stone fell off my heart. The branches, the branches could have been a little bit shorter, but as we say in Slovakia, don't look at the gifted horse's teeth. <laughs> I'm not sure who is doing this, but I hope we find them. To shoot an animal and let it roam until it dies without trying to find it or retrieve it is not ethical, neither in the United States nor in Slovakia. At least this much we have in common. With some people, it's like throwing peas at walls. No matter how many times you try to educate them, let's not cry over spilled milk. What is done is done. I want you to find out more about our traditions. When someone harvests their first animal species, they can be knighted as the hunter of that species. Let's not say hop before jumping a fence. I will explain to you the process in my next letter. I want you I want you to not only be knighted as a white-tailed deer hunter, but also an ethical hunter. Being an ethical hunter is a lecture for another day. I hope you already know that everything must be respected, but mostly the law and the animals. In Slovakia, we never shoot the animal in the head because it disrespects the animal. Please follow this tradition well. Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I shot one in the head yesterday when I was out hunting. It's just one of those things. Dropped it in its tracks. It didn't suffer, not one bit. Let's see. Harvest one male white-tailed deer with a single shot to the heart. Okay. I guess we'll uh, see if we can find some white-tailed deer. I've been tracking around for a while trying to find white-tailed deer sign. We finally found some in this area here. Hopefully, we can find out where they are and get us one. I've been searching for probably I don't know, maybe an hour in real life trying to find trying to find these deer. I checked a couple spots where I'd seen them before and I couldn't find anything. 
so we tried a new spot down here in this area that I haven't quite been yet. We'll head through and see if we can find one. My luck, I'll find them, but I'll scare them away. More badger. There's our white tail sign. Oh, there's. I knew I'd scare them. I I knew it. Look at the map. At least we know. We know that they're hanging out in this area. So, we'll get one eventually. So they're calm now, 273 yards away. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my time and creep up there because I want to get this done so we can move on to the next. Here we go. It's a female. There's a male right there. Okay, so we need to get a perfect heart shot on this guy. That's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. Just hope I don't spook him. Go ahead and pull my rifle out. Hundred and ninety two yards away. Okay, I'm going to try this. I think we got it. I think we got it. He wouldn't have dropped like that otherwise. Whew. That was tough. I've been looking for a long time trying to track these, these deer down. Hopefully this is going to be all we need to do as long as I hit him in his heart. I guess it'll tell us when we get there. Where did we get him? I don't think we hit his heart. It says vital organ or artery. Uh, we'll sell him. Nope. That did not work. Dang. So I have to get closer to make sure that I can get that shot in. This is not, it's not easy. I have to get closer and see about getting a direct broadside shot. Okay, we finally came across some more white tails here. I'm going to try and get a lot closer this time. Go down into these this brush here and ease up through it. See if I can get in there close. 
Hopefully we get to this bush right here and we're able to get a good shot without spooking them. The wind is almost in a bad spot. Okay, where is he? There he is right there. Okay, get a rifle out. Fifteen. Do that. Okay. Use up just a touch more so we can see. Okay. Oh, he laid down. I'm gonna lay down too. That'll steady our aim. Oh, 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 he turned all the way around. So close. Come on, big guy. There you go. I hope that was it. That may have been a touch high. Okay, they ran up that way. I have to keep note of that just in case. I have to track them down again. Uh, where's he at? Okay. Did you get it? It says vital organ artery. There's the bullet cam. That definitely went straight through his heart. Single shot right through his heart. Um, okay, we need to harvest it. Well, we did harvest. I guess I'll, I'll sell it. Got it. Okay, perfect. Woo! Finally. Good lord. That was tough. It's easy to kill. It's easy to kill the, the deer. Super easy. I mean, shoot them anywhere around in the lungs or anything like that and they're dead but that took a it took a while to track them down that was that was tough I'm glad we got it done we'll head back up to uh, Vlakov's cabin and see what kind of note he's left for us back at the cabin again Let's see what he has to say Now you successfully harvested your first white-tailed deer. If we were in Slovakia, the process would be like this. You have to kneel on your left knee, holding the firearm, touching the ground in your left hand, and with the right hand, you must hold your hat on your chest. A hunting district representative will tap you three times with a hunting rifle on your shoulders and give you a knighting certificate of the specific animal species. And now you officially pass. I will make a special certificate only for you and send it to your lodge. Your grandfather has been a good friend for many years. I admire his morals and ethics, and I can see his grandson took after him. All the best, Ludovic Vlakov. All right, so now we have unlocked this area to be able to hunt. That was a tough, that was a tough mission. We have a fast travel point. 
We have another large area that we can now hunt. I feel pretty good about it. Cool. Well, we didn't quite, we didn't quite uh, get done what I wanted to today. I wanted to go up here and check out that area, but I figured, <laughs> I figured we'd end up getting sidetracked. So we made some, uh, we made a little bit of money today too. I may see about getting some upgrades, maybe a different kind of collar or something like that. But anyway, maybe next episode we'll be able to go up to this uh, Bruises cabin and do the little mission up there to unlock that area. I'm not sure. We'll just play it by ear and go from there. But anyways, I think I'll call it on this episode. I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Goodbye.